this is lecture 20 in lecture 20 mainly we will discuss the solution of uh, practice question uh, which I explained in uh, lecture 19 and 18 and uh, again uh, this question is to find the inverse is a transfer of x of z and very important uh, by using a method power series or it is known as long division method. So, two cases are given uh, the same question but one ROC is modulus of z greater than a here modulus of z less than a ok. If you look at this particular question uh, x of z ok x of z is equal to uh, if you rearrange this uh, you will get 1 by uh, 1 minus a z raised to minus 1 if you rearrange this it becomes z by z minus a and the ROC of the signal is given there is a pole at a and ROC is modulus of z greater than a ok this is the real axis and this is imaginary and this is ROC so this represents a causal signal ok so this represents a causal signal and if the signal is causal it contain only negative powers of z just like z raised to minus 1 z raised to minus 2 etc there will not be any term like z raised to 1 ok z square because the signal only in the positive side and if you look at this transform directly you can write the result like a raised to n into u of n we know the standard result the transform is z by z minus a provided the modulus of z is greater than a ok this is standard result by using the result you can uh, directly write the result so this will be the answer ok but in this question it is indicated as we need to use the power series method ok power series method or long distance so we cannot approach uh, this method like this we cannot write. So, this is a causal signal. So, we need to start our division by using highest order of z. So, if you look at this uh, denominator part uh, here you can see z raised to minus 1 and here it is a constant means uh, here the z power is z raised to 0. So, highest power is uh, of z is 1 or a constant. So, we will start the division with the constant value. So, first you can see uh, we need to divide this 1 by using this constant 1. So, 1 divided by 1 you will get 1 here ok and now we need to multiply this 1 with this factor. So, you can write 1 into 1 into 1 into minus a z raise to minus 1. So, after multiplication you will get 1 minus a z raise to minus 1. Now, we need to subtract so, if you subtract these two it will get 0 here and uh, 0 minus minus a z raise to minus 1. So, it becomes plus a z raise to minus 1. Now, we need to divide uh, this factor ok. So, you can write a z raise to minus 1 divided by 1 ok. This is 1 this is the 1 ok. Uh, now, we will get it is like a z raise to minus 1. So, we got the second now, uh, we need to multiply the second term with this factor. So, you will get like this ok. It becomes uh, a z raise to minus 1 into 1. So, a z raise to minus 1 again ne say next term uh, minus a into a a square z raise to minus 1 into z raise to minus. So, z raise to minus 2. Now, we need to subtract. So, this term becomes 0 and here it becomes 0 minus minus. So, it becomes plus and now uh, we need to divide uh, this term ok with the factor a 1. So, you will get uh, it becomes a square is z raised to minus 2 by 1 ok. So, this is the third term and similarly we can continue. So, we got this x of z like this ok x of z like this. 1 plus a z raised to minus 1 plus a square into z raised to minus 2 plus etcetera etcetera. It becomes a cube into z raised to minus 3 etcetera. And if you compare uh, the standard equation here you can see 
the constant m z raised to 0 is 1 so x of 0 you can say that x of 0 is uh, 1 ok so I can write the x of n after comparing this the first term is 1 and the second term uh, is it raised to minus 1 so in z raised to minus 1 it is x of 1 so I can write it is a and next term is a square it will be like this a cube etc ok and the signal exists uh, only in the positive side this is the starting point so this I can write in a mathematical form like this x of n is equal to a raise to n ok for n is equal to 0 ok here n is equal to 0 it is a raise to 0 that is 1 here n is equal to 1 so a raise to 1 here n is equal to 2 so a square etc and the signal exists only in the positive side so you need to multiply with u of n because u of n exists in only in the positive side so or you can call it as, as a causal signal okay. in this method we can find so we can verify the answer okay we will get the same answer now we will uh, go to the second part of the question and the second part uh, this is the second part uh, here it is given uh, more or less of z less than a means again uh, if we compare the equation x of z is 1 by 1 minus a z raised to minus 1 means it becomes z by z minus a and the ROC of the signal is given by a and modulus of z less than a and if modulus of z less than a means it is an anti causal signal it is anti causal signal. So, if it is anti causal signal uh, you can write the result like this minus a raised to n into u of minus n minus 1 will give you the result z by z minus a and modulus of z less than a. But we cannot use this method again in the question it is given uh, using power series method. So, again we need to perform the long division. So, another point here the signal is anti causal or modulus of z less than a. So, we need to start the division uh, by uh, lowest order of z. Okay. If, if we use uh, lowest order of z the first term uh, is like uh, here it is 1 and the lowest order is z raised to minus 1. So, we need to start the division with z raised to minus 1. So, we will take the first term uh, it is 1 divided by minus a z raised to minus 1. So, we will get minus a raised to minus 1 z. So, this is the first term and uh, second term. Uh, so, after that you need to multiply with this factor. So, you will get this result it becomes uh, 1 minus a raise to minus 1 into z ok and uh, next we need to subtract these two terms. So, we will get uh, plus a raise to minus 1 z. Now, we need to divide a raise to minus 1 z with the first term. So, uh, a raise to minus 1 z divided by minus a z raise to minus 1 which is equal to minus a square z square. A square uh, a minus a square z square. So, this will be the second term uh, minus a square uh, a raise to minus 2 into z square and now we need to multiply this with the factor. Uh, so, you will get like this a raise to minus 1 into z uh, minus uh, a raise to minus 2 into z square. Okay after subtraction you will get uh, a raise to minus 2 into z square. Now, we need to uh, divide a raise to minus 2 into z square divided by minus a z raise to minus 1. So, after this you will get uh, is minus a cube sorry a raise to minus 3 into z cube. So, this is the third term again we can continue like this. So, it is plus etcetera etcetera. 
So, if you write this uh, equation x of z, it will be like this uh, minus a raise to 1 is z minus a raise to minus 2 into z square minus a raise to minus 3 is z cube plus etcetera. Okay. So, if you write the x of n by comparing the coefficient it is an anti causal signal. So, there will be term uh, z raised to 1 z square etcetera. Okay. Uh, and based on this if you write uh, it goes in the negative side. So, you can write minus uh, a cube minus a raise to 2 minus a raise to 1 and 0 here. Okay. So, signal is in the anti causal side. So, in a mathematical form you can write it similar to minus a raise to n into u of minus n minus 1. Okay. So, this will be the answer. In the second question, uh, again uh, we need to use uh, the power series method uh, to solve this particular problem. So, two signals are given. Uh, the same question one with ROC modulus of z greater than 2 and another one modulus of z less than 1 by 2 and here the powers of z given in positive ok z and z square etcetera. In the previous example it is uh, z ratio minus 1 etcetera and uh, first we will take the causal signal ok. Uh, why this causal means uh, the ROC of the signal is given by uh, modulus of z greater than 2 means it is outside the circuit. So, that is why we will call it as, as a causal signal and if the signal is causal we need to start the division with highest order of z. So, if we take this highest order is z square ok here it is z. So, we will write z here and uh, we will start the division with 2 z square. So, the first term will be uh, z by 2 z square. So, it becomes uh, 1 by 2 is it raised to minus 1. So, this is the first term and now we need to multiply this factor and need to write here ok and after that we need to subtract. So, after subtraction you will get this term 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is it raised to minus 1 and now we need to divide the first term is it 3 by 2 with 2 is it raised to uh, 2 is it square. So, now, we will write uh, 3 by 2 okay, by uh, 2 z square. So, it becomes uh, 3 by 4 z raised to minus 2. So, that is the second term. Now, we need to multiply the second term with the factor and the multiplied result we will write here. Okay. Now, we need to subtract these two equation and we will get uh, 7 by 4 is a ratio minus 1 here. Now, we need to divide uh, the term 7 by 4 is a raised to minus 1 by 2 is a square. So, that becomes uh, 7 by 8 is a raised to minus 3. So, that is the third term. Again, we need to continue the process. So, you can write this x of z like this x of z is equal to 1 by 2 z raised to minus 1 plus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 2 plus 7 by 8 z raised to minus 3 plus etcetera. So, by comparing the equation uh, it is a causal signal. So, we need to compare the coefficients here z 0 z raised to minus 1 uh, here. So, it is starting from z raised to minus 1. So, there is no uh, z raised to 0 term. So, meaning uh, this is 0 then 1 by 2, then 3 by 4, then 7 by 8 etcetera. So, the starting term is 0 ok as a causal signal. Now, we will uh, discuss the second part. In the second part uh, it is given uh, modulus of is less than 1 by 2. If modulus of is less than 1 by 2 means, so this is the point 1 by 2 ok and ROC is uh, less than 1 by 2. So, inside the circuit means this signal represent an anti causal signal ok 
if anti causal signal is given uh, we need to start the division with lowest order of z so lowest order of z means uh, here it is constant term here it is z so z by 1 so we need to write like this z by 1 so which is equal to z so we'll write here and we need to multiply with the factor and we need to write the product here so after that you need to subtract after subtraction uh, you will get this term 3 z square so now 3 z square divided by 1 which is equal to 3 z square that's the second term and again we need to multiply with this and you will get the uh, term okay and now we need to multiply here and uh, we need to subtract okay after subtraction you will get the 7 z cube so that will be the next term and again uh, if you do the calculation like this you will get the other terms so here you can see that uh, x of z okay x of z is equal to z plus 3 z square plus 7 uh, sorry uh, 7 z cube plus 15 z raised to 4 plus etc and after comparing uh, with the signal is an anti causal signal if anti causal signal means it contain the powers z raised to 1 z square etc so here also the term z z square etc so you can write like this uh, it contain negative side so you can start from here it's 15 7 3 1 and 0 and this 0 to indicate the 0 point so this is a minus 1 point this is a minus 2 this is minus 3 and minus 4 etc so this is anti causal signal okay thank you